another nice Canada day. That's pretty cool. Is 1867. What's your 1776? Yep. Yeah. Oh, it gets a little rough through the one spot here. <laughs> this year, eh? You see them all? There isn't there isn't one skinny one in the batch. At least not at our place. And spiders. We had a spider, not big, on our deck the other day. First time. Felt like I was at the cottage. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. High up on the hill here now. Over a tree. Yeah, this is what Canada Day is all about. <laughs> There's a lot of oak trees up here at the top of the hill. Robertson's always had a, a big picnic every year in the village. We have the kids all play up in here. Just to lay out just a, a bunch of boards and tables, you know, and the whole village would come for the Robertson picnic every year. Oh, very cool. We'd have shooting contests, play baseball, and grandpa, great grandpa would give them prizes and stuff for the shooting competition. Uh, I like the way the uh, grass grows up in here. Different than the bush. Yeah. No, it's nice when you're going through old, undisturbed bush. Yeah. But you don't see too well. There's a lot of big pines back here in the corner. Some really big ones. We had Duncan out here, oh, probably a couple of months ago now. We had just got a, a metal detector, so we had him out here and back, and he found an old musket ball. Really? Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, it's quite heavy. Well, if you think of it, we'll have to show it to, to us when we get back. Oh, so we found a bunch of those. Oh, yeah. In Franklin, because of uh, the battlefield. Yeah, there's oh, yeah, lots that's of right. Mary. Oops. I don't like it when it just stalls like that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, we're close to home, we can always do it. <laughs> I, <was getting> car back. <laughs> I only worry when planes do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a buddy of mine did that to me once, could have killed him. <laughs> Just to show me that it could be done. Now, there's an old pet cemetery in here somewhere, I'm not quite sure where. But... If you read Grandma's book, it says every pet they ever had was buried under a big tree, but there's a bunch of rock piles in here. I remember Dad telling me as a kid the lady with their horse was killed by lightning, and it's buried right up in here somewhere. Oh, neat. Yeah, See, this was, all, this was all pasture for the sheep in here. Yeah. Shitload of pines. 
Uncle Bob planted these pines here. There was a big push back in the 50s to, to replant the province. Right. Which is why there are so many red pine stands about that age. So all the red pine stands that we have back in the bush there, Dad planted when he was 15 years old. Dad granted it. Right. It was a big reforestation project. But yeah. You know, Ross and Joan did one on their, well, on their place in North Core. That was in the uh, 80s. Yeah. So, Grandma's old apple trees in here. You get the bigger ones in there. I think she called them spies. She used to make really good pies out of them. There's another big one in there. What they need right now is to be thinned out around them. That was a really bad year, I think, for the apple trees. That was Cousin Dorothy's house. Our great-grandfather built in. This is where we live, Colin. Yep. This house here in the corner. I'll have you guys over tomorrow for a while. Oh. Their backyard here. 